While women in business may still be on the low end in some of the male-dominated industries, single women are proving to be one of the most important demographics in the home buying market, according to the National Association of Realtors, NAR. Single women accounted for 60% more home purchases than single men. Imagine that. Across all of the age groups, they're on fire. They are actually the biggest home buying demographic after married couples. So this trend of single female home ownership is projected to increase in the coming years thanks to a variety of factors. The gender pay gap is narrowing, giving women increased financial independence and more power in the marketplace. In some areas, their incomes are even increasing faster than their male counterparts. So, what are the traits of the single woman home buyer? Number one, she knows her budget and is determined to stay within that budget. Number two, she wants her home to reflect her personality and her own personal styles. Number three, she takes time to do her research and makes final decisions. And number four, she wants the best possible quality product and workmanship she can possibly afford within the budget, staying within the budget. It's clear from this industry insight that single women, regardless of age, are coming into their own in the housing market, and it's a great time to be working with them. So take that seriously as buyers and keep their needs in mind. Don't try to work outside of it. Help them get what they're looking for. Now, minding your own business. So I'm sure you've all heard the marketing tip about sending a postcard to the residents of the neighborhood where you just sold a listing, you know, within the circle. But no one actually does this, or at least very infrequently, and those that do are successful because they're gonna buy homes in the area. So today, I'm gonna tell you how to do it easily. First, create your postcard with a picture of the home you just sold. Add any positives, such as the listing price versus the sold price, how many offers, how many days on the market, size of the house, and tell the story of the sellers if you can. I have a template that's gonna help you do exactly this, so email us and I'd be happy to get it to you. Next, use the United States Postal Service Every Door Direct Mailing Program, EDDM. This is gonna help you pick a neighborhood so that you can reach out. Now, you should know exactly how many homes are in that route, get your postcard printed, send it through the EDDM program. Most neighborhoods have about 500 to 650 homes. So instead of just doing the block, do the whole neighborhood. So if you have extra postcards, send them out to the past clients as well. Let them know that you're doing things in the market and it's a really good inexpensive marketing tool to grow your business and it should get attention by all the neighbors. And if they decide to sell, they already know a realtor that knows exactly how to market to the neighborhood, giving them a reason to call you. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thanks for watching. See you next week. And let us know if we can help you with any of your clients.